Comedian Gary Owens goes off on a Trump supporter during his show in the most beautiful way possible. Here it is. Five minutes. Uh, now, you're not gonna, you know what? You're not gonna give five minutes. That was the widest I've ever heard. Oh my God. Build your own career, bitch. <laughs> no refunds, ho. I still got your money, bitch. So technically, you work for me tonight, ho. <laughs> oh, that's when I, I won. I won. The minute when they just give up with the. I won. Give that back. Right now. Come on, Gary. What happened? Oh. I'm sure he's making the Trump camp very proud. Put him up full mass here. Yeah. A guy decked out in Trump, Trump, Trump gear decided to heckle Gary Owen. Why would you go to a Gary Owen? Why would you do that? You know what's up. You know his comedy. Uh, so the comedian did not hold back after he shut down the heckler at his recent comedy show turned out to be a Trump supporter. Cobb's comedy show booked Owen to perform at the San Francisco venue. This was October 11th and 12th. He shared the footage from his sets on his YouTube channel uh, with the caption, Trump supporter kicked out of comedy show. The 90 second clip starts with an unseen audience member interrupting Owen as he is on stage having a verbal exchange with the person before he was eventually removed. We do have footage of the heckler being forced out. Here it is. The hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. He looks exactly like I thought he was going to look, too. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of child on his laptop. I guarantee you that. All right. Uh, quote, give me five minutes, mother blank. This is how it's this is how the, the actual video starts, okay? Give me five minutes, mother. The rowdy audience member yelled from his seat. Or responded, no, you know what? You're not going to get five minutes, mother. That was the whitest mother I have ever heard. The Think Like a Man actor continued, build your own career, B word. What you want my five minutes for? No refunds. I still got your money. So technically, you work for me tonight. So technically, you work for me tonight. As Owen cursed out the heckler, the rest of the crowd burst out and laughs and applauded. As the man yelled, F you, they also cheered and booed, but venue employees escorted the MAGA hat wearing instigator out of the building. And then that's when Gary said he looks exactly like I thought he was going to look. Gary joked while watching his defeated tormentor angrily walk away. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of chop on his lap, laptop. I guarantee that. Ish. Obnoxious Trump supporter got what he deserved. The former... Uh, the Gary Owen Show reality star wrote on his caption on Instagram. Both comment sections were flooded with reactions to the heated back and forth in San Francisco. I love Gary's ability to control with quick wit. Get him, Gary, a YouTube user wrote. Another user posts a question. Why in the world would a Trumper go to Gary Owen Show? That, that was my exact question as well. Uh, on Instagram, someone commented, Trump supporters went to a comedy club in San Francisco, just a row-ish up. He's going to go post on whatever app they use to say he's being silenced by the media. Someone else quipped. <laughs> he got five minutes, all right. He was out the door five minutes after opening his mouth. However, Donald Trump backer took a shot at Gary Owen by writing, quote, here we go again. Get new material. Owen's stock began to rise in the comedy world in the 1990s by appealing to a majority of black audience in the local circuit in California. He managed to go from 
being a, a performer of BET's televised comic view, which was a great show, uh, to becoming the program's only Caucasian host from 1998 to 1999. Did a fine job. Uh, despite building a connection with many black comedy viewers, ride along actors found himself facing backlash for his approach to talking about race issues. Now, these are some of the these are some of the bumps in the road. For example, in June 2024, Cincinnati native discussed using the N-word during a show in Oklahoma City. I've never said it like with malicious intent. I never said it as a put down or confess, mother effer. Um, I listen to rap. You don't think when I'm in the car by myself, I'm singing the out of the song. They not like us. Owen was referencing Kendrick Lamar's chart topping this record, not like us, a song that accused biracial Canadian rapper Drake of stealing from Black American culture. Some people found Gary's explanation funny, but others slammed him for not, uh, slammed him for even joking about rapping the racial slur. All right, so that's his bump in the road. Now I find it quite interesting. Because one of the commenters said something that I thought initially when I saw the video. I said, you not only go to the San Francisco comedy spot, you know Gary Owen is performing, you understand his brand of comedy. You go there decked out in Trump gear. What else do you think people believe you're going to do? Um, I do think you handled the situation quite well. And I wonder, is this going to become a thing now? Because naturally these dynamics typically don't go together, Trump and then a guy like Gary Owens in a comedy club. So what say you, dear brother? I think the MAGA supporter got what he came for. He got yeah. exactly what he bargained for. I don't understand why you would go to a comedy club, first of all, decked out in a bunch of political right. gear. Like, it's just so unnecessary and just, just shows a certain insecurity. And I think Trump supporters need to develop a thicker skin about their guy, Trump. Like, whether you love him or just support him or whatever, whoever you are, you have to admit the guy's pretty goofy and pretty easy to make fun of. Like, he is <laughs> right. right for comedy material and like you just got to be okay with that man that's just what it is it's just like as a, if a bears fan couldn't understand why people made fun of mike ditka or something like that like right, it's right. just these these guys are characters and people make fun of some of their traits and i think if you're a trump supporter and you show up to a comedy club and you think you're gonna heckle somebody who's been in comedy for freaking 30 years and get the better of that exchange you're out of your mind you got exactly what you deserve yeah, he's not a newbie. Uh, and typically, yeah. individuals like that, they have been heckled since day one. Oh, yeah. That's the easiest thing. That, as a matter of fact, that provides material for the show. That's the most, that's the most funny thing that came out of that whole comedy set. 